Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with the 50 Shades of Brown slash Beige Project Panda intro. I'm trying to say update, but I have to enter it first. <laughs> uh, this was created by, well the original idea of 50 Shades of a color was created by Jessica Lee, Amanda, and Cece. I will link them down below. And as always, it's being done in conjunction with the Fantastic Ladies, whom I will also link down below. Now, um, the idea is to technically put in 50 brown or beige items, and you can relate that in any way to brown or beige. It could be the color of the product, the color of the packaging, the name, the scent, because I know a lot of people threw in a lot of like tree hut items, so like that's getting in the name because trees are usually brown. I believe I have definitely stretched the idea of what brown and beige is, but I will explain my reasoning at least with them. Uh, you don't necessarily have to roll in all 50 at once. If you don't have enough items, roll in what you have or what you're able to work on. And then when you finish something up, you can roll something else in or just whatever you want to do. This is a very easy pro going project pan. You don't even have to join the Facebook group because, you know, not everybody's on Facebook these days. So getting started with 50 items. I will admit this was not the color I wanted because I struggled with this color finding enough items. So like I, cause like I said, I ended up having to kind of stretch the definition of what brown and beige were, but I did finally find 50. So first I have three Zany Laney sprays. These are some of my last, I think I will finish them off this year. So this one is Unsung Hero. Uh, there was once brown on the packaging a little bit, but it's gotten wet, so the, it's, all, it's gotten all waterlogged. But the scent notes are smoke, whiskey, and maple syrup, and I say both whiskey and maple syrup count as brown. Next we have Off Yui, and there's plenty of brown in that packaging. So uh, if you were curious, the scent notes are brown sugar, vanilla, and honey, so brown sugar is in the notes as well. And finally, we have Thanksgiving pie. Thanksgiving turkeys are usually brown. And there's a little bit of brown hair in the picture right there, but this one also got wet, so it's kind of hard to see. <sighs> All right, so next, I chose this Rawson Super Smoothie Cleanser. And I have marked where it is at, so that I hope you can see. And the product itself is actually pretty brown, so that's pretty much a no-brainer. Next is the Nicopy Micro Bubble Foaming Cleanser. This is something that I used most of the way up last year in a different project pan, but I didn't finish it. So we are starting right here, and the brown is actually in the cap. I almost put another Nicopy product in here, but I switched it out for something at the last moment. Next are two toners, because I initially thought I had three, but I'll explain that in a minute. The first one is the Aquel licorice pH balancing cleansing toner. It is pretty much full. I've only used it a couple of times to review it. And basically the same with this one. It is the Skin House Wrinkle Collagen Toner. It is all the way up to here. Once again, I only used it a couple of times to review it. Uh, the actual packaging of both of these are brown. And here is where the mix-up came in. I thought this was a toner. It is a serum. <laughs> Uh, it is the Fig One Glycolic Glow Treatment, and the, both the outside packaging and some of the inside packaging is brown. I chose it based on the box, which you could technically do, but turned out the inside packaging was brown too. But as I was peeling this back to like actually get a look at where it, wh where it is, because it's a pump-up product, it turns out, uh, this is not a toner. This is pretty clearly a serum. To be fair, I got this from FabFitFun. It was part of my box when I still got those. I don't get them anymore. But uh, yeah, I thought it was a toner when I got it. It is not, it is a serum. It is a like glycolic acid serum. So we are starting down here. Like I said, it's something that pumps up. I'm actually gonna cut this little bit of the label off because I had to peel it off to figure out where it was, but that little flap is going to bug the daylights out of me. Speaking of serums, I have an Actwell serum too. I got this with the uh, toner. It is the Licorice pH Balancing Advanced Serum. It is all the way up to here. Luckily this doesn't have, I think it's an ounce. It looks like it's less though. It is an ounce. Suck it there. I was thinking it didn't have a ton of product in it, but it does. 
The next serum is one I'm actually already working on. It is the Sensuals Facial Serum of Vitamin C with Hyaluronic Acid and Elroy's Plant Stem Cells. And like I said, I'm already working on this and it's all the way up to here though because I need to... This is another one where the dropper just kind of sucks because like that's all it pulls out at a time. I have to use like two droppers of it to get the amount that I want. And the final serum, this is one where I'm really stretching the notion of brown, but I don't care anymore. It is the, is it pronounced Lease or just L-Y-S Beauty? The Think Bright Glow and Hydrate Serum. It's kind of brown packaging. And the inside, the actual product itself is kind of beige. More champagne-y, but fairly beige. I don't know. I'm rolling with it. It's brand new. It's all the way up to here. Well, it's never been used. I've had it for a little while, but just kind of a basic hydrating serum. Which I can get through those pretty quickly once I start to work on them. Next are two masks. They are two mini masks, thankfully. First is the Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask. I have used this, I think, once. It currently weighs 34.5 grams. And the other one is one I've had for a long time, so I'm probably going to work on it first. It is the Apto Skincare Nourishing Mask with Blue Spirulina. This is another one that I'm kind of stretching the idea of what uh, brown or beige is, because it's kind of like yellowy, beigey brown. Like I said, stretching it a little bit, forgive me. And I think this is the, no, this is the next to last skincare item. I have two more skincare items. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but this is the XY Cos Pink Collagen Cream. So it says pink, has a little bit of pink on the uh, packaging, but most of it is brown. This is 87.2 grams. Once again, mostly full. Got it for testing. So I only used a little bit of it. That's getting on the old side especially, so I want to use it up. Next is a bunch of sheet masks. I've seen other people put sheet masks into their 50 shades. And I had something that was kind of brown, more beige, and even a little bit stretching it there. They are the Aroma Shop Rose Essence Mask Pack. I have five with me. I'm almost positive I have seven though. So if I'm right, I will make note of that for next month. But we have at least five, probably seven. I want to use them all up. By the way, unless I mention otherwise, the goal for everything is to use it up. Now, the final skincare item. This is the Biro Tea Time English Breakfast Tea Treatment Essence. We are up to here. Now, this is something that you shake up, which is probably how I should have measured it because that is all the way up to here now, which makes more sense. I will fix that, but as you can see, especially once you shake it up, is like a beigey brown tea color. Tea, well, not always, a lot of the time can be brown. <laughs> So now we're getting into some body items. First, the Everyman Jack Iron Man Body Wash and Shower Gel. It smells very manly, but I'm using it anyway. I bought it because it had Iron Man on it. Anybody that knows me, no shock there, but Crimson Oak, it does smell very nice. Like I said, once again, manly, I don't care. It's a masculine scent, let me put it that way. Let's see, uh, it currently weighs 524.6 grams. I have started using it, but I'm probably gonna go to something else in here first to get it worked out because this is super full. <laughs> but I'm probably gonna use up this first because as you can see, it's a little mini. This is the Ren Clean Skin Care Atlantic Kelp and Magnesium Anti-Fatigue Body Wash. I have no idea what anti-fatigue means as far as body wash is concerned. Once again, stretching the idea of what beige is here. Just roll with me, guys. Like I said, brown was a very hard color for me. We are right here, and that shouldn't take me long at all. That'll probably be one of my first empties, honestly. Let's see, I have two lotions. At least one I'm probably going to use to shave with because I don't really like the smell of it now that I've actually smelled it. It is the Brew Moods Unplug Aromatherapy Lotion. I got it measured. It is like down to here, but it's very like thin and liquidy, but it hasn't gone bad as far as I can tell. Like it still smells what it's supposed to smell like. Let me put it that way, but it is natural. So I want to get it used up as soon as possible. 
But the scent is Clary Sage. I don't know why I picked that. I know I don't like that kind of like herbally scent, but I did. I have it. I need to use it up. Yes, the other lotion. This one I like a lot more and will use as an actual lotion. It is the Summer Fridays Summer Silk Nourishing Body Lotion. Once again, kind of stretching the idea of what brown is, but whatever. It is right here. Uh, it's basically full. I got this in a like Sephora favorites kit last year, I think. Haven't used it yet, but yeah, this smells really good. This smells, this is like a vanilla, almost brown sugary scent. So really like this. Looking forward to using that. Last body care thing that I need to start using right away, because as I realized while putting this together, uh, it's broken. Now this is the EOS, at least now I can see through it though. Uh, cashmere pre-shave scrub, the little bit of packaging right here I'm calling a brownish gold, leave me alone. And my mark on here is actually wrong. Because now I can see through the light that it is down to here, which makes sense because I think it leaked. This is, this little part right here is open, I don't want to mess with it, but I need to add a new body scrub to my bath. So, good for me. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of, oh my god, I can't believe this broke. Which the drawer that it's been sitting in is a little sticky. Now I realize what must have leaked. I've got a couple of hair products. I got two leave-in conditioners, but both of them are kind of small. One is actually a mini. It is the Miel Miel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. We are starting right here. Literally the next time I wash my hair, I'm gonna start using this because I finished up the last thing that I was using. So this will get some use on it right away. And the other product I have, I've had for a while, but it's still good. It is the Asano Coconut Milk Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner. My friend Hannah sent this to me from Australia. So I definitely wanna finally get it used up. It's one of the last few things other than like blushes and eyeshadow palettes I have that she sent me because I've used most of the other stuff up. Although I do have one other thing in here from her that is not used up yet, but we are starting right here. I have used a, a bit of this a while ago and then put it away, but I will use up the rest of that. And finally, before we, next we're getting into makeup, shampoo and conditioner. Hosk, a lot of their packaging is brown, so I figured I would throw these in. These are the Argan Oil Repairing Shampoo and Conditioner. I love these. Uh, they're both brand new <laughs> in that they've never been used, but uh, they're both like up to here. I did mark them. I'm probably gonna have to go over some of these marks with like uh, nail polish because they're on dark brown packaging. <laughs> Anyways, getting into the makeup. First, I have two foundations. The first one is the Fenty, uh, what are you, the Pro Filter Foundation. It's all the way up to here. I've only used it a couple of times. Uh, yeah, I remember really liking this foundation. Maybe not quite enough to pay the full price for it. And I'm not 100% certain they sell my shade anymore because I know that they like adjusted the shade line a year or so ago, but it, my shade is 105. And one reason why they added beige on here is so that we, a lot of us, especially fair skinned folk, could add on like beige Complexion products, but complexion products for everybody can be added on, by the way. I mean, unless you have like, you know, green skin or something, but that's a topic for another day. <laughs> Although I love you anyways, even if you have green skin. The next uh, foundation is the Beauty Crop Vitamin Babe Skin Loving Foundation, formulated with red orange extract, apparently. Uh, mine is down to here. It is only a half ounce, technically, but. I mean, that's still gonna take me like two months to go through at my rate. Let's see, I have two concealers that I just dropped on the floor. The first one is the KVD Beauty Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. It weighs 25, 27 grams even. And this one, which I have worked on in the past, is the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. Now, it had been sitting up long enough to where it looked like it's about halfway done, but, you know. Take that with a grain of salt. Its current weight is 13.5 grams. Next, I have two powders. I loaded up on the complexion products because like I said, I don't have a lot of brown in my collection. So 
First is the Rachel Couture Translucent Powder. This is 41.3 grams. I think I've used it once. It only comes with eight grams. It's kind of light for a uh, loose powder. And the other one I have, not only is it a complexion product, so beige counts, this is actually brown, uh, is the Bur Burt's, Burt's Bees Mattifying Powder Foundation. Oh, uh, the Rachel Couture weighs 41.3. Uh, the Burt's Bees weighs 50.3. It actually does have a little bit of pan in here. And while this is technically a powder foundation, I just wear it as a powder. I actually put on a little bit today before filming because I was really shiny because I've been wearing my makeup all day. Next is a highlighter. Once again, definitely stretching the limits of what beige is, but roll with me here. This is the Half Caked... Uh, Mirror Mirror Pressed Highlighter and Fortune Faded because it's kind of beigey, kind of champagne -y. I don't know, leave me alone. It weighs 11.9 grams. I do want to finish this. Let me swatch things because you probably actually like care what things look like. So yeah, that is the highlighter. Next is a Ciate London Bamboo Bronzer in Palm Island. In theory, I want to finish this, but I'm having so much trouble finishing bronzers that uh, we may have to adjust that goal. Depends on how long it takes me to finish the Shades by Sean bronzer, or if I get mad at it and throw it through a window because it never shows any progress. Uh, the Ciate is 12.3 grams, by the way. <laughs> Next is the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. I got this little mini. I don't know if this is makeup or skincare, because most people I see use it and mix it into their moisturizer. I was thinking of mixing it into a foundation. Oh, that's a lot. Well, I wanted a swatch. It's definitely a swatch. It's definitely brown. That is what it looks like. Uh, well, before I did that, it weighed uh, 14 grams even. It probably doesn't weigh that anymore. Next is a really, really, really old lipstick. Please don't make fun of me. I'm wearing it today, so it's still good. It doesn't break me out or smell bad or anything. This is the Too Faced La Creme Lipstick in Teddy Berry. I picked it based on the name Teddy because teddy bears are brown. It itself is not brown, but it's a berry shade. God forbid, it's called Teddy Berry for a reason. This is a swatch of it. I really do want to finally finish this because it's really, really old. And I know I probably shouldn't be using this on my lips, but like I said, I've used it a few times before today even make sure that it was still good. If it starts doing anything weird or smelling weird, I will declutter it, I promise. A much newer lipstick that I have is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk Lipstick. I don't know exactly what these are called off the top of my head. Matte Revolution Lipstick. I have it written down. Now, these are nude shades. Like, this is the biggest stretch out there. Because I decided, you know what, nude goes into like beige and brown. Leave me alone. I'm trying to find stuff in here and not adding in like 10 foundations. So this is what it looks like. I've also thrown in the matching lip liner and lip bath gloss. So here is the, got a dog hair on it because my life is covered in dog hair. The mini lip sheet liner because I picked up like some kind of little trio around Christmas time last year. That is what it looks like right there. I've used up both a mini and a full size one of these before. I do really like the lip liners. And we have the lip gloss bath right here. Like I said, nude shades. We're calling it brown or beige adjacent. And here is the lip gloss. And the lip gloss weighs 18.9 grams because I don't trust it to ever settle properly to get a mark. If it does, I will mark it. Next, I don't even know why I bought this. It bought into the hype. I'm not even entirely sure how I'm supposed to use it. I think people use it like almost as a like mixing highlighty primer thing. It is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Mine is in the shade Fair. It is all the way up to here. I have used it once as like just a traditional on the cheeks highlighter and I didn't think it did anything. Only to then learn that, hey, I'm, I'm, probably, I'm using it wrong. It's supposed to like be a mix-in highlighter product. Hopefully I can use that up, because like I said, 
I don't, that's not my thing. <laughs> see, next I have the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm. I got this in the same kit that I got the, uh, the bronzing drops in. This is what it looks like. Its current weight is 27.2 grams. I also have this little mini Dior face and body primer. It weighs 15.8 grams. Marking these is pointless because stuff gets stuck at the top, at the bottom. I hate the packaging on those minis, but because I buy things from Sephora, I keep getting them in like little sample bags where they send you a bunch of samples of makeup, like little cardboard samples. They always throw one of those in there. I've been through multiples of those minis. Anyways, next is the Dew of the Gods Tahitian Breakfast Dewy Collagen Primer. There is the tiniest amount of brown, like right here on the packaging. Like I said, sometimes it's stretch. It's mostly full. I think I've only used it once or twice. Next, this, this I have no idea other than to count uses how to measure progress on it. It is the CoverGirl Line Exact Liquid Eyeliner. I'll unscrew it because I keep trying to pull the top off. It's a very light brown. Honestly, I could probably use that in my brows and it'd be all right. But I've never used a brow marker before, so I don't know how to do that. I would honestly set that with a much darker eyeshadow. Let's see. Speaking of eyeliners, I do have another one. This is the Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eyeliner Pen in Matte Mulberry. I well, used it a couple of times. Uh, much deeper brown than the CoverGirl. I, I missed this with the other lip products. Let's see, this is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm, 21.3 grams. Uh, this is the Vanilla Beige Shade slash Scent, because I know these have a little bit of a tint to them. That one definitely falls under brown slash beige. Its name is beige and it's brown. Next, I only want to finish the uh, eyeshadow half of this, but it is the Tarte Quick Stick. Uh, well, the packaging is brown, that's what I went with, but I want to finish the gold, rose gold luster eyeshadow. I'm not going to focus on the eyeliner. I'm not even going to open it because I don't want to like dry it out or anything, but this is what we're working on with the eyeshadow. Now, if I get through those two eyeliners, I might start working on the eyeliner. No, I wanted to swatch it but it's not part of the project. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. It should go under most things pretty easily. Next is the other thing that my friend Hannah sent me that's in this project. It is the W7 Bow to the Brow. I am not in love with this product. <laughs> like it is a brow powder, but it's in like this form. And I have a tendency, unless I like wipe a ton of the product off, to go too heavy handed with it. And I have used it fairly recently, a cup. Like I alternate this with a powder that I'm trying to use up as far as what's in my brows. Oh, what is the swatch of it right there? Yeah, if I'm not careful, it's very easy to go heavy with it. So I don't know how long that's going to take me. And I use so little of it that I know weighing it is pointless. So all I can do is count uses and it'll be done when it's done. See, I have two eyeshadows that I've hidden from myself. One I want to finish, the other one I just want to hit pan on, and God, it'll take me forever to do that. The one I want to finish is this Lorac uh, Mega Pro 2 eyeshadow. It was in a different project pan to hit pan on, now I want to finish it. It is tawny. Uh, I think it is finally done falling apart, because I hit the pan in the middle. There's a pan in the corner that I didn't hit. It's just product broke off. And the other one, I just want to hit pan on this. It's the Naked Heat. Uh, I based my brown on the packaging itself, not the shade, because I want to hit pan on ounce right here, this highlighter shade. I skipped swatching Tawny because it's, it's brown. I will swatch it in a second. But that is what ounce looks like. Hopefully we can see that. I'm not just flailing about. So go ahead and swatch Tawny too. There it is right there. It's a really good crease shade. It's what I'm gonna use it for. It can also go in my brows, but I have enough stuff to put in my brows right now that I'm probably not going to put it there. And finally, I have, this is beige, not brown, <laughs> barely beige. The Item Beauty One Hit Prime Set and Refresh Dewy Finish Face Mist. 
and it is right here. I really wish they hadn't gotten rid of Item Beauty. I loved that brand. Whew, so that is it. Hopefully I can trim this down a little bit so it's not heinously long, but either way, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!